Do you have a couple of these things laying around in your junk drawers? Maybe you got them in a kit or maybe you bought them out of curiosity and now you finally want to play with them? Well, you're going to need a way to control them. They have a, a very specific signal that they need to work. The easiest way to do that is by using one of these. These are a little servo tester. You can get these from AliExpress. I checked this morning. You can get them about for $3 USD. Um, and how it works is you put uh, 5 volts and ground on one side. And then you just connect up your little servo. And then you have some options. Either you can have it sweep like this. You can put it in the neutral position so you can align your servo horn to whatever alignment you need it. Or you have manual control through this little potentiometer. So these things are pretty neat. But the thing is that what if you don't have one of these? What if you just want to play with this today? Well, you can't. You've got to order this from China. I'm sure most of you, though, have one of these. These are the Raspberry Pi Pico in a few of its iterations. The important part is they have the RP2040 or the RP2350 chip on them. My favorite iteration is this little guy here. And so I've made some code that'll work on any of these guys in order to play with your servos. So here it is on breadboard. The important part of all this is that pin zero is your servo signal. Pins one, two, and three are some status LEDs. Pin 26 is the wiper of your potentiometer. And pin eight is the uh, selection switch here. Then all you do is you take your servo and you'll connect five volts, you know, red to red. You'll connect ground, black to black or brown, depending on the color servo you have. And then pin zero will connect to your signal. So it's either orange or white, depending on which servo you have. And when it boots up, it is in the neutral mode. So you can set your servo horn now. And to switch modes, you just click the button. So mode two, you see the number two LED is on. And now you get your sweeping motion. And then you click again. And then here you go. You can have potentiometer control. So this is something that you can make with parts you have at home and you can play with your servo right now. But what if you want something more permanent? Well, that's where the sponsor of this episode, PCBWay, comes in. I designed a project in order to make this a whole lot cleaner and make it a little bit more of a permanent solution. I also included some really cool features that I want to show you. So these boards are based on the RP2040-0 which I love so much. This is my favorite iteration of the RP2040. Um, what's nice about this project is you don't actually have to uh, solder this row of pins and you can solder this directly onto the board. However, I prefer to socket it. So here's one that I prepared earlier today. This will socket right into here. And let me talk to you about the features and why I like this. So first and foremost, you can power this either by the USB type C on the Raspberry Pi, or you can use these screw terminals in case you're doing other stuff with it. You have room to plug three servos, actually six, but I'll explain that momentarily. So here we go. This is our big MG metal geared servo, and it has the similar features to the servo tester. When you first turn it on, it's in mode one, and that means it's in neutral, so you can set your servo horn, press the button, and you go to mode two, and you sweep and press the button, you go to mode three and you have this potentiometer. Now what's cool about the potentiometer is I have a dual footprint. You can use either the 0.1 inch spacing or the double spacing. So if you only have those really big, you know, old school chunky pots, you can use that. If you have these new sort of breadboard friendly ones, you can use these, or you can just solder to these pads and have the potentiometer flying in the breeze if you want. I also put some capacitors in to make sure the power supply is stable. All the caps are the same value, so you don't have to worry about it. The resistors are for each LED, which means you can control the brightness. I want my status LED to be quite dim, so that's why I have a higher resistance value plugged into here. And I also made five LEDs connected to five outputs, just in case you want to make your own modes if you want to modify the code. 
But this thing has another trick up its sleeve. Some servos are much more powerful than these guys. Some servos, like these guys, require a lot more voltage and a lot more current in order to make them work. That's where the party trick of this board comes in. So you'll notice that I've got two sets of screw terminals here. This bottom one is where you can put your 5 volts and ground in order to power the RP2040 and your servos. But up here, you can put a voltage in. I've tested it up to 12 volts. You should be only limited by the voltage of your capacitors. But essentially, that 12 volts does not go to the micro. It goes only to these pins down here. And these pins are made specifically for these high voltage servos. So this is a 12 volt servo. If I plug it in and turn on the power supply, you'll see that you can power these incredibly powerful servos. And in fact, I dare you to try to stop this 150 kilogram servo. It just can't happen. It will push you back no matter what. So that means that this little board does something that this board simply can't do. You can power these high voltage servos directly from the board. If you want to do that on one of these, you would actually have to break out the signal pin and use 12 volts and, and ground from another source and then link the grounds. It's a pain in the butt. This makes it easy. Another thing I like is that you can use this to just play with your servos. Uh, as long as you only need one servo or all servos doing the same action, you can just play with your servos and have them do what you want them to do. And you can even mode add mode 4 and 5 in order to have them do whatever. Like maybe it's slow sweep one way, fast sweep the other. These things can be great for finding out if you've got glitches in your servos or broken gears or anything like that. So the sky's the limit with these things. Um, so if you order from PCBWay.com, the sponsor of this video, you will get uh, 10 boards for $5 plus shipping. Um, if you take the cheap shipping, it's very inexpensive. And then you either have uh, 10 boards that you can build for your own projects, or you can do a group order with your friends. I also made sure that all the components are very inexpensive. They are all standard components like the terminal blocks, uh, five mil LEDs, resistors, your choice of value, capacitors, your choice of value, and these little RP2040 boards, which I love so much. So I'll help you go into the description, click the link to pcbway.com and go and build your own. And if you don't, then I hope you use my code and take it for a spin. Thanks for watching.